Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we will be checking out the XFX Radeon HD5870. This is the world's first DirectX 11 graphics card and it is the fastest single GPU card on the market as it is right now. So stay tuned for more. We're going to show you all the great features of this brand new video card. So there's been a lot of talk about DirectX 11, but what does that actually mean to the end user, the gamer? First of all, DirectX 11 makes much more general use of the graphics hardware. It allows the software developers for the games to optimize their code to run much better on the hardware, to do more with it with less effort. So what that means is we're going to get faster games when we actually upgrade to better graphics rather than it slowing it down, which is a great improvement, I say. So what do you need to become DirectX 11 ready? Well, first of all, you will need a DirectX 11 video card, which right now means the 5870 or the 5850. Those are your only two choices. And you will also need a DirectX DirectX 11 ready operating system, so that means no XP, locked out, Windows Vista or Windows 7. Those are your only options. So we're going to have a closer look at the card itself, just stay tuned. So we're not actually doing a formal unboxing of this card. If you want to see that, you can check it out on my blog here. Otherwise, we're just going to have a look at the video card itself. So you can see this is the way it'll be oriented when it's installed in your case. So you can see the ATI Radeon logo and you can also see two six pin PCI Express power connectors right there on the top. So this is not a very power hungry card, especially when you're not doing anything at the desktop, which is great for power efficiency. So let's turn it around, have a look at the back of the card, uh, both backs of the card. You can see the top has a nice black heat spreader that's going to cool the RAM on the back of the video card itself. And here you've got a couple of air vents so any air that's sucked in by the fan which we'll show you in a minute will be pushed out here to cool down the VRM or the voltage regulators so then on the bottom of the card you can see we've got a PCI Express 16x slot so that means that you can use this on any PCIe 16x or 8x motherboard and then this is one of the most interesting parts of this card you can see here we've got one two DVI connectors one HDMI connector, which you can get audio out of as well, and then you've also got a DisplayPort adapter. This card supports up to three outputs, but you should bear in mind you can either do DVI, DVI, DisplayPort, or DVI, HDMI, DisplayPort. So you can get a DisplayPort adapter, which I'm holding right here, DisplayPort to DVI, and then you can make use of three DVI monitors at the same time. Now on the top of the card, I'm just going to leave that in because it seems to be kind of stuck. You can see the crossfire fingers right here. So two crossfire bridges. These are crossfire ready. And then we can also have a look at the art on the front of the XFX Radeon 5870, including the little uh, fan there. So that comes out the vent, which I should have showed you at the back, but I didn't. And there is the vent right there. So here we are experiencing Left 4 Dead, popular PC title right now, on kind of a, a last generation gaming sort of uh, feel. So we got one 24 inch monitor running at 1920 by 1200 resolution, high details, everything looks great, but this isn't very interesting. So we're going to cut to the way, way better part now. So now we're firing up Left 4 Dead with our ATI iFinity technology setup. So we have three 24 inch monitors, each running at sort of 1920 by 1200, which isn't quite correct. More on that in a minute. The most important thing to bear in mind about iFinity is you will need a 5870 video card and you need at least one DisplayPort ready monitor. You can't use an adapter. It's got to be a native DisplayPort monitor or it will not work. So the way iFinity works is it actually treats all three monitors like one big monitor. So we're running at a resolution of 5760 by 1200. And even on the desktop, the taskbar goes all the way across because the system doesn't know you've got three different monitors. We're actually running on sort of a high preset uh, detail level. So even with a game like Left 4 Dead running at this enormous resolution on high details, you can see I'm going to get myself uh, swarmed by zombies here a little bit just to demonstrate that over my right hand shoulder you can see the frame rate being recorded never drops below about 80 frames per second so it really demonstrates the amazing power of the 5870 and then I'm just going to kind of keep moving here now it's unlike anything that I've ever experienced in a game before having this kind of peripheral vision and compared to the single display it's just way more immersive it's very cool 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video on the XFX Radeon 5870. I haven't talked about the specs much, but what I wanted to focus on was the features and why this new launch is so important for the graphics card industry, which it is. Uh, the reason we chose that to XFX is because we really like a couple of their policies as a company. So they have a modder friendly dual lifetime warranty. That means you can take off the stock cooler, replace it with something else. You won't void your warranty as long as you put the old one back on. And double lifetime means that if you sell this card, say you want to update to a 5890 or something in theory that comes out later, then you can actually carry over your warranty to the next owner of the card. Anyway, thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips on the 5870 and ATI iFinity technology.